Greetings, Lolas and Donnies. This is Mad Hair Patrick. If you were ever playing the game and they asked you to name every dangerous animal on the planet Earth, how many would you answer? When you think of the most ferocious animal on the planet, there are plenty of them that pops into your mind. Lions, bears, wolves, tigers, snakes, and alligators. But there's another animal that throws into the mix. I know that just plain silly, and it looks like I got it from a Mighty Python movie, but there was a dark anime movie about rabbits called Watership Down. It was based on the 1972 novel by Richard Adams, known to have a cast like John Hurt, Richard Breyer, and it was the last film that Zero Mosell worked on before he died. The film was an immediate success and it became the 6th most popular film of 1979 in the UK box office. In addition, the movie gained a following in the entertainment industry with an anime series in 1999 and a Netflix miniseries in 2018. Welcome to another episode of The Wonder Reviews, and let's get ready because we're about to fall down to the most darkest rabbit hole we can find. This is Warship Down. A group of rabbits are living peacefully in the field until one rabbit named Pfeiffer sees a vision foreshadowing the depths of the species. He warns them that they must leave immediately to prevent the end, which revealed to be a man-made industrialism. They resentfully agree and head onward to find a new home led by Pfeiffer's brother, Hazel. The movie has one focus that keeps the entire story afloat, survival. Since it's a life or death movie, it makes the journey worth seeing from beginning to end, with all the obstacles, the trials and tribulations the rabbits have to deal with, and encountering other rabbits in the field, it help us look into the perspective of the rabbits. Even after finding a new home, they still had to go through other obstacles standing in their way, like an evil rabbit group led by General Woodward, and find and rescue female rabbits to repopulate their community. Another thing that's interesting is at the beginning of the film where they talk about the first rabbit, and he was created by a god named Fripp, who also created the world according to the rabbits which also allow us to see the rabbit's viewpoints, beliefs, and philosophies. The more they talk about the first rabbit and the god Frith, the more you get an idea on how the rabbits live in their environment, and explain how they got their abilities, like hunting and agility, and will explain where they're being chased by their natural predators. There are a handful of characters in the group, and most of them play a big role in the movie. The main characters we primarily focus on are Hazel and Fiverr where Hazel has to lead his people to safety while also taking risks in order to reach their goal to survival. And Fiverr, who is not a fighter like the other rabbits, but can sense something is afoot with his visions during their journey. The other characters have their memorable moments and likable personalities, including Bigwood is the strong member that obtains knowledge from Woodward's group, Captain Holly who was doubtful about Fiverr's vision, but now believes him after losing the other rabbits and their home and Keenar, who may be a stubborn burn, but he is able to help the rabbits on their rescue mission. There are other characters like Blackberry and Dandelion, but they're not as focused as the main characters and couldn't include additional storylines like from the book in order to learn about them more. And then there's the villain of the film, General Woodward, a power-hungry chi that only selects the best and strongest rabbits while he enslaves the weaklings, and if anyone else crosses him, he will kill them by any means. It may be a down-to-earth movie that takes place in the fields or hills, but there's a lot of depth that went into the animation. The designs capture the realistic looks of their respective characters, rather it be the rabbits, birds, dogs, and cats. And although there are a variety of rabbit characters, you can tell them apart easily. The character animation also maintains the animal movement, including the fights and chase scenes when the rabbits rip each other apart. <laughs> With the background, it's a movie where nature takes over everything, and it looks great! In other places like the farm and the burrows go into detail based on how the rabbits see them. With some of Fiverr's visions and other dark imageries, they are disturbing, but the surrealism helps set the tone of the movie. There are other animation styles used, like the black sketchy rabbit scenes, and the opening having that rig and bass feel to it, but the designs of them are really nice to look at. And even though the movie is meant to look real, the animals do express some emotions like happy, scared, or angry. But there's another thing I had to point out. There is a song called Bright Eyes performed by Uncle Funkle, and it's actually a soothing music. It gives out that glimmer of hope and reaching it to the end. So overall, it is a dark movie filled with muted colors, 
But that's the beauty of it and the book. Watership Down is a fascinating dark anime movie with a heart pounding survival story, likable characters, and some wonderful animation. This is a must watch if you are into dark anime movies like The Secret of Nim, When the Wind Blows, and Animal Farm. You think you know everything about these cute fluffy animals, but trust me, you don't, and neither did I. I'm giving this long eared movie an A and the Diploma of Destiny. As you can tell, this is meant for an older audience. It can be challenging to some people because of the imagery and brutal scenes, but much like Hazel, Fiber, and their friends, it will be definitely worth it. I'm Matt Hara Patrick. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta dump my face into some carrot cake. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe me for a new review and other project every week. I'll see you soon.